my god. <laughs> Hi YouTube, my name is Sio, welcome to my channel. On today's video I'm going to do a little buzz cut update and also to show you how I do my headbands and explain why I do my headbands. So first, the hair update. So it's been almost, I will take this one off. Um, it has been almost three months now since I buzz cut my hair. If you didn't watch this video yet, there's a link right here. And I will also add a link in the description below, so check it out. So it has been two and a half months ago. And as you can see, it grew relatively a lot. I will show you closer. So this is uh, one side. This side. And front. So as you could see, could have seen here i have a condition the hair is not growing when i cut it it kind of seemed like it's uh, shorter than the other parts of my head i didn't know why and just left it and then after like two weeks i started to realize that the hair is not growing there <laughs> and it's um it's falling even it's not just not growing it's just like really falling so i went to a dermatologist and he told me i have a condition that is called oh my god why is it so hard for me um, it is called It's called alopecia erythea. Essentially, it's it's like an autoimmune system that just like the body attacks itself and prevents from hair to grow in some parts of the of the body. It could be also like on the hand and on the legs, but for me, what I've seen until now, and I hope it will just be this it's this part right here, and you can also see that it goes like up here. So realizing that I have a bald spot made me be reinterested in headbands again to cover this up and like to make it not so visible. For me, I feel like it's the most visible thing in my appearance right now. It really bothers me and I don't know, I got like some kind of treatment, but it's not working that much. So I need to get back to the dermatologist to get injections to help the hair grow. Oh my God. <laughs> Great! I didn't even start the, the video and I already cried. I want to talk about the condition. I just want to show you how I tie my hair. So I started with, as you can see in the beginning, I had a really simple headband tying and I will show you with this. This is a really small silk scarf. Can you see all the size of it? It's like small, so I start by folding it into half, into a little triangle like this. And then I'll just, I'll just roll it like this. It doesn't have to be like really meticulous, just like, just roll it in some way. And then this part goes right here, part goes behind and I just take it to the front part and I can choose where I want to tie my knot. I don't like to tie it in the middle, it just looks funny. <laughs> I don't want to also like tie it too tight, just because then it hurts my, my head. Just like this. And then I adjust it. So this is look number one. You can see it's not covering that much of my condition. This is why I'm, I'm doing also other kinds because it covers thicker parts of the of the, the thing. So <laughs> this is how it looks. It's nice. That's the look number two. So I am moving to a bigger square scarf. It's bigger. I also start by folding it in half and then fold it as well. Start by the behind, put it like this, cover the ears, getting it in front, and then I, I do a crisscross and tie it in the back. Adjust this as well. So this is look number two. It's very uh, basic. I also tuck this one inside. So back to the small scarves, I'm folding it again to two and then just folding this part, the tip of the triangle, into the end of the head band, like this. Then you are left with something like this. Take the wider part and put it behind and then just taking it to the front, to one side as before and tying a nice bow. 
and then I take it to the back a little bit, folding this inside because it was too big. Taking the knot a little bit to the back and to the side. So this is the look. This one covers a lot, covers all of the ears and it's great. But you can still see the hair. I'll try to show you in like different scarves just to see like different styles and the way it will be so again bigger scarf again folding in half into a triangle again putting the white part in the back and pushing the little triangle on top i am tying not a so, such a strong knot here and take the the, tri the triangle tip and put it behind make sure my ears are covered I, oof, this looks so stupid right now Putting this and then I just do like a bow tie again like this it's hard to do without a mirror so dumb then I can adjust it the way I want I like to show some hair I like to put it on the side a little bit okay so this is the look if you want you can also take the extra ears and tack it also underneath the knot and then just have left with this bow tie kind of kind of look so this is it i don't think you can see it so much because of the because of the white wall behind me i'm definitely going to try it again with that different one okay so this is look number four this one is also being done the same way big scarf folded in half i really like this print i love this print actually wider part in the back this is a little bit bigger so it looks a little bit different again i tie the knot i tie it in the back take the tip and tuck it underneath so this is the fifth look this if it bothers you you can just like also tuck it underneath it won't bother you this one i really like it's like really simple but it looks pretty chic you don't have like leftover fabric to show so i really like it look number five so i'm back with my smallest one and i Fold it in half again, fold it in half like this again, then put it behind. I don't think it will hold much, but it's nice to start with it and then move to another kind. Kind of like more chic kind of look. Um, simple, but cute. Another nice look to do is again folded one, do this here, tie a knot, this down, another knot. Then take it, take it to the back, tie a little knot, adjust, and then another simple look. I want to also show you if we're here already the bow tie kind when you're when you can actually see it. Bow tie, and then taking the edges, tuck it under. There's another edge. Don't see it under adjust adjust my favorite scarf is definitely this one also it has the best texture i don't know it's like the best fabric because it's stronger so it looks good with this kind of looks maybe i'll try another one tying the same way as I did in all of the other looks and then the left bunny ears I try to like tie it behind and create like kind of a bun look so this is the last look I want to say like what I think about the experience of doing the bus cut almost three months after doing this so I don't regret it I actually really really like it it's really weird to see now looks that I had like a year ago. A year ago I had a bleached hair pixie cut and I dyed it purple. So it was like a purple metallic kind of color in a really tidy pixie cut. And now it's like a messy buzz cut that grows whenever, whatever it wants. And it's kind of nice like that you have no choice but to like not doing anything with your hair. The fact that you don't need to waste a lot of time in the shower. But what I miss is dyeing my hair. Because when I had like my bleached hair, I could play with it around and just like try new things like when I dyed my hair pink you can see this video right here and I feel like I'm like I don't have this 
kind of satisfaction now. I mean, I, I can't get it in any other way but to dye my hair. And I don't want to do like this kind of things right now because of the condition. So what I've left to do with my hair is basically just headbands. So this is why I'm doing this, even though I'm not going out that much. But when I do and I feel like accessorize or doing something interesting for a change, because I don't put makeup that much now, I just don't feel the need to. So this is like a way of accessorizing, but like in a really basic kind of way. And I like it. I actually really, really like it. And this one is also like one of my favorites right now. And just I just tried it for the first time right now. So I'm definitely going to play around with it and I hope this video was helpful to you educational and tutorial on how to tie a headband I did see a lot of them before I mean it's not I'm not inventing anything I'm just showing you what I like to do and how it looks on a buzz cut because a lot of this kind of things require to use bobby pins and on this length of hair it does not work that good these are the looks that i usually do that i usually like go for and they're easy to make and they look nice just a way of like feeling a little bit different to myself and i just look every day the same another thing that i really like this kind of like really short hairstyle i really like it i do want to style it but since of the condition i i don't know how it would be possible to for it to, sh to be shown nicely in a short version so i think i will have have no choice now but to grow it a little bit at least for a longer pixie kind of thing and to hope that the hair will grow back because I don't like it as you can see it's really emotional for me I never had a problem with hair I mean it's pretty obvious that the, the problem is not with my hair it's based on stress this is the main cause for it i don't know what caused me that much stress but we'll see i don't know maybe being an expat <laughs> doing your relocation and being a stranger in a total different country it takes it so i don't know but at, at this time I've, I've, done, I've done it i think i've been relatively calm so i don't know what happened but i'm definitely going to check into it more thoroughly but in the meantime i have this to do so yeah i hope you liked the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up tell me in the comments below what else would you like to see in the channel i usually post about food so if there is something that interests you to see then drop a comment below and feel free to follow me on other social medias such as tiktok twitter instagram of course don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get to forget some of my new videos and i hope to see you in the next video bye